So I'm here with Mary Keith. Yes. And um, she's cosplaying from the DC Bombshells universe. Um, if I remember correctly, that's a, like a 1940s alternate universe, right? That's right. And uh, what made you pick this specific character? Uh, well, I really love the movie A League of Their Own. Okay. I played softball as a teenager. Yeah. And I was like, oh my gosh, a comic book universe where one of the characters is a female baseball player? That's <laughs> phenomenal. Then I read the series yeah. and fell in love with the character, Catherine Kane. Yeah. And uh, she's just phenomenal. And uh, I knew I wanted to do a Bombshells costume. Okay. And I, it was an obvious choice for me. Oh, awesome. And uh, so... I'm not familiar with that that um, series. I mean, I, I yeah. remember seeing all the ads, but I didn't I didn't read that particular book. Is is she a crime fighter on the side or? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and then a baseball player is like her day job essentially. Pretty much. Very nice. And uh, so, uh, the hat. Did you make the hat on your own? The hat is uh, from a craft store, and okay. then the uh, the decal is uh, glued on. <laughs> <laughs> So there was already like a Batman shaped. Uh... Oh no, sorry. The uh, the uh, flaps are quilted. Oh okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, how about the dress? Did you uh, sew it or put it together on your own or? It was sewn. Um, it was not sewn by me. Okay. <laughs> um, I uh, it was going to be a collaborative effort, and yes. then uh, the one who helped me uh, basically took over the entire project. Okay. <laughs> I stood still while she measured me, and that okay. was the extent of the hand that I had in making okay. it. And uh, how about the, the hair? Uh, it's from a Halloween store. Halloween store, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, is the bat just a regular bat or a foam core? Or? It is a foam core. Okay. Did you design it? No, this, is, this also came from a Halloween store. <laughs> okay. I'm extraordinarily uh, lazy when it comes to putting my costumes together. Anything that I can, I mean, I'm not a professional cosplayer. Okay. Um, it's something that I do for fun, mm -hmm. um, and in order to keep it fun, I try not to torture myself yeah. by getting everything completely <laughs> accurate, completely homemade. So sure. I supplement. Yeah, well, I, I think it's you know there's there's different ways of doing the the different costumes. You know, yeah. there's people who design like uh, last year I interviewed a guy who designed his belt. He did the leather working all on oh, his own. Wow. Um, and then there's pulling something together where it it looks like this is something completely of one piece. Yeah. It doesn't look like it's from a whole bunch of different places. So. Yeah. It, it comes together really well. Thank you, I appreciate that. Um, and uh, is there anything uh, else about the character that, that really inspires you? Uh, do, do you really like that character outside of the Bombshells universe as well? Yeah, and I'm really looking forward to seeing the TV series that's coming out. The, the Batwoman? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think that the uh, the New 52, while it had its, its issues, uh, yeah. that book was really good. Yeah. Um, especially the first few arcs. And uh, Kate Kane is such a new character to the comics universe. She, I don't know if you know, was debuted in 2006. Okay. So not dating back to the 60s. Right. Yeah, I think that gives. Yeah. I, I think that gives the um, writers a lot of, uh, a lot more leeway. You know. Yeah. Whereas, uh, we, we've got a lot of weird issues with Batman. Where I mean, I, I guess, you know, uh, uh, Grant. Uh, uh, did kind of the best work where he kind of said, okay, the stuff in the 60s was like a psychedelic trick, trip, yeah. but, you know, it's kind of hard to just, you know, put it all together. I guess multiverse is another way to handle it. Yeah. Well, uh, thank it's you It's a lot of much. fun. It's my and, pleasure. Uh, and good luck. Thank you very much. Thanks.